All right, the icon for today is I can divide using an area model. So let's start by drawing our area model. It can be a rectangle or a square, it does not matter. So 5,739 is our dividend, it goes on the inside, divided by five. And the beauty of the area model is you really think of the division as multiplication to get to your quotient, your final answer. So you have 5,739 5, divided by five. So I'm gonna think five times what is close to, or is, start with this number right here, five. One, right? Five times one is five. But I'm not looking at the number five, right? I'm looking at 5,000, because the five is in the thousands place. So five times 1,000 is equal to 5,000. And 1,000 is my first partial quotient. So it's the first part of my answer. So I'm going to subtract 5,000, 9, 3, 7. And then I have um, a remainder from what I've subtracted so far. So I'm going to draw another rectangle in this case and bring over the remainder to the new space. So now I'm going to do the same thing as I started over here. Five times what is close to, looking at the first number, seven. Five times one, right? Five times one is five. But it's not seven, it's actually 700. So five times 100 is 500. Let's subtract. Again, I have a remainder, so I'm going to draw another space. So 239, I'm going to bring over here. And I'm going to do the same thing, 5 times what is close to 2? So 2 is less than 5, so I can't do that. So I'm going to look at two place values now. 5 times what is close to 23? 4. But it's not 23, it's 230, so it's 40. And it's not 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 40 is 200. Bringing over the 39. 5 times what is close to 3? Can't do that. 5 times what is close to 39? 5 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35. and four is my remainder, but I'm gonna write this as a fraction for my answer. Pause on that for a second. So all the numbers I wrote in red are parts of the answer, or partial quotients. So I'm gonna add them together. So 1,000 plus 100 plus 40 plus seven is 1,147. And then I still have four here, so if you have a remainder, so a number that's less than your divisor, you're going to use this number and put it, or not use it, but you're going to have it in your final answer as the numerator, and then your divisor is going to be the denominator. So 1,147 and 4 fifths is my final quotient. Alright, now we have 3,124 divided by 4. So first step, draw your area. Second step, write your dividend inside, 3,124, divided by 4. And then start thinking in terms of multiplying. 4 times what is close to 3? Well, 3 is less than 4, so I have to look at two place values now. 4 times what is close to 31? 7, right? 4 times 7 is 28 but we're not looking at 31, we're looking at 3,124. So it's going to be 700, because four times 700 is 2,800. Three hundred twenty-four is my remainder. 
I'm going to bring it over here and do the process again. Four times what is close to this time? 32. Eight. But it's not 32, it's 324, so it's 80. 80 times 4 is 320. I still have 4. Bring that over here. And then 4 times what is close to or 4. 1, right? 1 times 4 is 4. And then I add my partial quotients, the parts of my answer together. And 0 um, is left over, so there is no um, number less than a whole. So 700 plus 80 plus 1 is 781. And that's it for Aerie Model.